Hi, I'm Zane. I'm going to be um, showing you today how to create new contours. So um, I've got like a little terrain model here. And um, when I built it, um, I haven't been very consistent with which contours I used. And I've also gone through and created a few extra um, sort of spot elevations and things like that um, to try and smooth the surface out so you can kind of see like, for example, down here. Um, no, actually, first of all, um, note, I, um, I created a what, what I call a road mesh. They'll cut holes um, in here to expose another mesh that's buried under the surface. So I'm going to have to undo a couple of things. Um, if you want to know how to do this technique, you can have a look at one of my other videos um, on creating and refining, refining uh, road mesh uh, terrains. Alright, so I'm just going to um, get rid of my road mesh. I just want just this terrain. Um, I don't want these holes cut in here, so I have to undo my solid element operation as well. So the easiest way to do that is if you just select um, the roads, we can go undo. Again, if you want to know how to, how to do that um, technique, have a look at that previous video. All right, so now what I want is a contour running through here. A um, little tip, if you grab something like the column tool or an object or whatever and set the gravity to mesh, see that little Z up there, you can just run your cursor around and you can see what the heights are. So I can see over here I've got a 26 meter contour and a 28 meter contour. So I want to put a 27 meter contour through the center here. Okay, now first of all I might actually just massage this a little bit more. See how I've kind of got, kind of need another ridge through here otherwise we've got a bit of a flat plane. So um, that's going to level off there. So I quite often do this, I just stick ridge lines in and usually where the ridge should be appearing. So if we select the mesh, go back to the mesh tool, add some new points, so I'm just going to add maybe three points through here. Cool, okay. okay. Um, so that's probably already worked actually. Usually it's pretty smart with the surface fitting. So yeah, we're running through here now, it's still looking a bit flat. Oh no, I think we're up the hill a bit further. It's so flat through that section anyway, it doesn't really make much difference. Right, it's running through there. See? So I might just. Um, editing terrains in 3D is just silly. So, this point here is at 26.11, so let's make that 26.2. Cool. That should be about 26.5. And we'll make this 26.75. Oh, wasn't expecting that. I was in the wrong place, that's why. I've already done it over there. Okay, that's looking a lot healthier, although let's just bring that. You see, you can kind of fudge it in here. If it's a little adjustment, it's not bad, but it's just total guesswork. That's the big problem. Cool, so that's looking pretty cool. Alright, so we've got our con our terrain all massaged. How do we create a new contour line? Well, a lot of cunning tricks. So, first thing is, um, I'm going to do this from the 3D view. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to slice the top off this image. So if I go Command Y, oh sorry actually, before I do that. Um, 3D view options, 3D projection settings. First thing I want to do is I want to look at this straight down. So I need a top view and I need the azimuth to be um, 270. Okay, if it was zero, you'll see that the problem is, is that it's not orientated the same way as my drawing. But if I um, set this to be 270, you'll see that this is now orientated exactly the same way as my drawing. Cool. There's the lake, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, now I need to do a um, 3D cross section. So for this, I'm going to go design. Oh, sorry, view. 3D view option. Oh, sorry, elements to view in 3D. View 3D cutting planes or Option Command Y if you're on the Mac. All right. So actually, I've already done one earlier. 
Um, so normally it would look like this. So what you do is you go down here and type in 27 because that's our 27 meter contour. I'm going to lock in the Z and now I just, as soon as I go to draw it, it'll only let me draw with the Z equal to 27. I want to chop off the top and go command Y or view what's it, view, 3D view up, no sorry, elements to view in 3D and turn the 3D cutaway on. Alright, so this line here is our contour. However, there's not much we can do with this. If I try and copy and paste, I'll just end up with an image because we are currently using uh, 3D window settings, OpenGL, which is fantastic, don't get me wrong. It's um, very fast and you can move around the scene. However, the internal engine, which you probably haven't used, if you're an old time Archicad user like me, probably haven't used for about 10 years. Um, we're going to change this to um, wireframe, we'll be fine. Um, we also don't want, oh no, everything else says sweet as, so we go, okay. Um, now, it's going to go through, I don't know why it casts Victorial Set Shadow, so it's a wireframe, but you have to bear with it. Alright, so, next thing is, we want just the mesh. So if we just select just the mesh, that was a bit scary, I don't know why I did that. What happened there? Okay, select just the mesh. Come on. There we go, and hit F4, so we see just the mesh. All right, uh, we're halfway there. Now, see there's this black line. Now you can't select and do anything with this, but if you use the marquee tool, and you draw a little box around this area, and go Command C, this pops up. And we want this to be a scaled drawing, and we want just the edges, and go OK. Hit F2, back to here, and go Command V, and it will paste it. So I'm just going to click outside this box here. In fact, you can see this line running through here. Okay, so now it ends up, I think, on the Archicad layer. Oh, and hang on. Ah, oh, another little thing. See, we've kind of got a lot of ridge lines and stuff running through here. So we don't want to see that, and there is an easy fix for it. I'm just going to go undo on this. If we just select the mesh, come on, don't do it like that. Mesh select all. Command T, I'm going to turn all ridges smooth. Cool, and all those ridge lines disappear. Lovely. See, there is a little ridge line running through there, it's the one that we just drew. So let's do that again. Command C, copy, scale, drawing, edges, yep, yeah, okay. F2, Command V, cool. Now, so there's our contour. So that's our 27 meter contour. Oops, Command V, make sure you click outside the box or hit OK if you've got this guy up. Now, this usually turns up on the Archicad layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide all other layers. Oh, and just clean this up a little bit. See, we've got also the other contours in here, so I can delete those. Oh, I know I could use a funny shaped polyagonal shaped select tool, probably save me a bit of time if it wants to play the game. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Stupid snap. Oh, I want to delete all that. I want to delete all of this down here as well. And, um, um, those lines would be very good if you're doing a laser cut um, model. Yeah, if you st stack them up, you'd have the whole shape that needs to be cut. All right, so here's our new contour. Now I'm not entirely finished actually, because you can kind of see you get these funny little ridges sometimes. And that's because of all the little triangles that we're forming in here. I'll switch the layer off, it doesn't matter. So, we've got some more cunning tricks that we need to employ. 
Now, if I grab the spline tool, right, and go to the magic wand settings, okay, so normally I think this is on set to about four millimeter deviation or something. I'm working in meters. And it's usually set like that, right? And so then you come in here and you go magic wand. Oh, yeah, just show the layout. Oh, magic wand. There we go. And you get this happening. And basically what happens is as the magic goes magic wand goes around, it hits every single little node. Okay, wherever it stopped, which isn't all that cool. And there's not much way of stopping it from doing that. However, what I'm going to do is kind of a little bit odd. Um, is I'm going to magic wand my spline now with a line. So actually I'm just going to undo this for a second because I just want to group. Oops, no, I want to redo that. Um, I just want to select this guy, hide all the other layers. Oh, if you haven't seen this, this is the quick layers palette. So I always have quick layers, coordinates and control box. Always use them. Fantastic. Um, I'm just going to group these together just so it makes it a little bit easier. Cool. Group. Excellent. So go to my spline, magic wand it. Yep, show light. No, I'll do it again. There we go. Now, next trick. You get a line tool. We're going to go to the magic wand settings. And we're going to change this to linear segments. And I'm going to make it a segment length of 10 meters. Okay, this is a 2 meter grid. So, and then magic wand. Your spline. There we go. So now... I've got, why is it looped back on itself? Ah, oh, probably because, let's undo that. Let's just delete or hide. I'm going to delete the contour that we pasted in and do that again just so it doesn't loop back on itself. There we go. Now notice, see what happens? And now, delete the spline and magic wand the spline back on again. And it will go through all of our nice new curvy points. So I'll delete this orange one and voila, we have a nice, beautiful, curvy splined contour, which matches um, our contours. And let's deselect all. So I don't want the site aerial going on. Import site aerial. Cool. Sweet. And you can see now that there's a contour running perfectly through here. Of course, this is assuming that the surface is level. Um, and you could actually add this back in or change its shape a little bit. And it's quite editable because, you know, we haven't got too many points. Yeah. Anyway, so that's how to um, create a new contour and even get a nice smooth contour running around on your mesh. Thanks. Um, check out my blog. Um, and I'll post some more videos shortly on another subject that, um, that might interest you all. Bye-bye.